Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right in Welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Matt with a little kitten who does not want me to hold it right now. This kitten, um, the story we got was that it was shot in the eye with a BB gun. And when we feel back here on its neck, it does have what feels like a BB. You can see that right eye has a large hole in it. We went ahead and took an x-ray of the little kitten. There's the head here and there's a BB right there. Um, so that does kind of back up the story that someone was shooting BBs at a tiny kitten. I don't know who would do something like that, but some people are pretty cruel in this world. So I'm going to try to save the eye. I don't know that the kitten will ever have vision out of that eye, but I think we can heal it up and so it won't be painful or an infected eye like it is now. This kitten is, as you can see, a little bit feral, does not want us to be holding it at all. But usually with little time at the vet clinic getting handled, they get a lot more willing um, to be handled and start to be kind of loving. So what we're going to do today is just start treating that eye. We will remove the BB later, probably at the time of the spay. She has been named BB, of course. I wanted to name her Kitty Wop, but that's not really politically correct. So we're going to stick with BB. We're going to go ahead and start treating her eye today, and that's pretty much all we'll do for her for the next few weeks. She's going to put one little eye drop in this kitty's eye. Good kitty. We'll just do that a few times a day. So the little kitty was not eating, which is not good for a tiny kitten to not be eating. So we got the fosters to bring us its little sister. And now it's eating well, as you can see. There were four kittens total, and the foster was keeping the three healthy ones, and we were going to keep this one until we got the eye fixed up. But now we have its sister to keep it company, and she seems to be enjoying it and is eating again. We've had BB for two and a half weeks, and this little eye is just not getting better. It's still draining. It is just kind of shrinking down, but it kind of seems to have leveled off, not really getting any better now, and just continue to drain. So we are going to go ahead and take her to surgery today. And I'm basically just gonna extend the opening of that eye a little bit, so I'll be able to get around the, uh, the actual eyeball. Just gotta find it, it's so tiny. The good thing about waiting an extra two weeks um, for this surgery is she's a little bit older, she's a little bit better um, suited for anesthesia, and I feel confident that I can get her through this safely. So I've made some room in here. You can see that little um, eyeball right there. And basically I'm gonna go down here with these scissors and just kind of open them up and blunt dissect and just stretch out all this connective tissue around the eye until I can find the artery, vein, and nerve that are down at the bottom of that eye. And then I will ligate those and then pull the eyeball out. So we hit a little blood vessel in here and I have this gauze in here to stop the bleeding because I can't tell where it's bleeding from. Let's see if it's stopped yet. It is still bleeding, so we're just leaving pressure on it right now to get that vessel to stop because there's so much blood in there I can't tell where it's coming from. So we're just going to hold pressure here for another few minutes and then I'll, I'll go in there and look and see if I can figure out where it's coming from and then I can cauterize it with this little electro cauter unit. We're waiting on that eye to clot so I decided to go ahead and come over here and get this BB out while we wait. It's right here under the skin so this should be Pretty easy. You still waiting? There's our little BB. I'll put one little suture in there. And that's what someone shot her in the face with. We couldn't get the bleeding stopped, so we went ahead and just bailed on the surgery. I just sutured that eye up, and I will come back in a couple days. Um, I just didn't want to risk her losing too much blood because she's so little. Day two, we still have some bleeding, but it is a lot better than it was. The eyeball is down here. I've removed a couple pieces of it. I'm having to remove it in pieces because it is just so shrunken down and kind of diseased. I have all the eyeball out now, so now I'm going to start closing up all this dead space. So I have the eye inside pretty much closed up, all that dead space. Now what we need to do is close the actual eyelids. But if you just suture them closed, they won't heal. So you have to cut raw edges on those eyelids so it's like a fresh wound and then suture it together. And then those eyelids will heal together. So after I suture this up, I'm going to cut the eyelids. 
So here we have fresh edges all along where that eye was. And now I'm gonna just suture all this skin together. Surgery is over now. I sutured that hole all closed and she has done great during this entire procedure. So now we are just going to wake her up. Day after surgery and BB is doing very well. Not much swelling, she's purring, she's eating well. Her sister's doing good too. And the prettiest cat ever wants some attention too. It has been eight days since her surgery. You can see that she's doing pretty good. No discharge or anything. And we're just gonna leave those stitches in. I put very small sutures in there so they'll just dissolve out on their own. We don't have to go and um, sedate her and try to pull those little stitches out. Uh, but she's doing really good. We're gonna go ahead and send her back. She's going um, with a rescue, her and her sister. And um, hopefully they'll get adopted pretty soon. I'm sure they will because they're uh, very cute little kittens as you can see. But I wanted to say thanks to Joel at Fur Angel. Uh, blessing Blanketeers for making this blanket for the kitties. It will be going with them. And thank you all for supporting our channel. We really appreciate it. The kitties really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up, but you don't walk right and you don't talk right. And